Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to quickly hook up uh, servos to node code. I've got my hands on an Adafruit uh, 16 servo driver, and I've got that connected to the Raspberry Pi on the standard I2C uh, interface. And then I've created a, a new node for the Raspberry Pi package that uh, will allow you to talk to this specific piece of hardware uh, pretty easily. Um, you can see it's pretty it's a pretty monstrous looking node in the sense that it's got each of the 16 uh, registers mapped out separately. So it kind of had to be do done this way, and that's because all of these uh, tend to use the same frequency and uh, device number. And if I had a separate node for each of those registers, it would have uh, caused a lot of conflict. Um, so anyways, you have to deal with this big uh, node on your, your program canvas, but it's not really that bad. Okay, so uh, moving on, any uh, each of these registers takes in a value uh, between 0 and 100. And that, that's a uh, percentage of the full degree of rotation that the servo provides. So I've got uh, servos that have 180 degrees uh, range hooked up. So if I move this um, servo dial to the 50%, or I guess the 50 uh, yeah, percent uh, value, they'll all turn 90 degrees uh, with these servos. Um, and then you can go all the way up to 100 and it'll go all the way around and then back to uh, the starting position. Um, so that's pretty that's pretty easy. Um, I guess quickly I can show you how to hook up uh, more views or uh, more view elements actually. So I'm going to close this view, disconnect two of these wires. I'm going to add another dial in there. I'm actually going to add another dial and I'm going to add a way to push a button and set um, all the servos. So let's go back to our views. Let's edit this view. Let's add some columns and rows. We'll add another um, dial and we'll call it servo dial two. And then we're going to add a new uh, push button. We're going to call it reset, reset all. Save that. We'll go back to the programs and uh, wire this up to the second and third register. And we can see that if I turn uh, this dial that only two of the servos turn and then the other two turn here. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is wire up that reset all button. Uh, this can be pretty simple. I'm just going to add a signal to uh, number node and I'm going to set that value to um, 50 and then we'll see that every time I press that button all the servos will go back to whatever half of their uh, full ranges so let's see if I oh whoops Hook that up. So now they should all go back. So now these all go um, independently, and then you can reset them all back to 50. Independent, independent, back to 50. So that's uh, pretty much it for this video. Um, so it's not the only way to uh, control servos using this this actual node. You can you can actually add a uh, PWM pin writer and do it directly uh, using the hardware uh, PWM. Um, it's hard for me to to ever use just one servo or find a find a need for just one servo. So I really like this board. Um, it's pretty fairly cheap, pretty easy to put together, and um, now you can just drag and drop uh, <clears throat> drop it onto your programs and get going pretty quickly. Uh, let me know if you have any questions or uh, if you see anything that you think would be uh, useful here.